Hi, Priya. Are you doing good today? Priya just came off vacation, that's why you saw the Texas out there, or at least you saw Andre out there. Can't tell if she's happy to be home or not. I think that's a no, I'm not happy to be home. Hi, Miss Gabby. How's that food? So it is pretty early in the morning right now. Hopefully the wind is not too much. It's pretty windy today. Uh, it's probably about nine o'clock or so, I believe. And I just fed Miss Gab, and she is eating right now, as you can see. So as you can see, Marianne's in her lockout right now, and I did shut that door behind her. And let me tell you how difficult that was to actually do that. Cannot believe I just did it. <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking trying to get her in there because if you fail, then she's definitely not coming back in. We're trying to shift her out of Funcation right now, or Vacation we call it. Totally was like shaking with nerves before because it's so nerve-wracking trying to get her in here. Because like I said, if you shut the door and she gets out, she's not coming back in. You get one chance for the day pretty much. We couldn't get her in yesterday, but now we tried today and look at that. She made it in. Didn't you, Marianne? Miss Marianne. But she just ate all her food. She's definitely not too stressed out in there since she ate. But we're gonna put the squeeze cage up over to that door. She'll end up going in there and then we can shift her back home. And just like that, we just caught Marianne in the squeeze cage. Took a long time though, to be honest. Took her like probably 15 minutes to actually get in there. But now she's going back home. Yeah. So I did just drop in some food for Aries, and he came launching in, of course. Just mind the radio right there. In there. But he got some red meat, as you can see, and he is chowing on that. And then he also got some mush in there as well. He doesn't really like his mush, but he really likes that red, as you can tell. But after I finish up with Aries here, I'm going to head over to Artemis, who is patiently waiting over there. And then we're going to head over to Orion. And then these three cougars, they all do live together, but they are separated when it comes to feeding, just so that there's no fights or anything like that. Alright Aries, you finish that. And then I did just drop in some food for Artemis, who is the next on our list for the feeding today. And she again, just like Aries who we just saw, got some red, nice chunks of it as well as you can see, and then she got some mush as well, and look how bloody that is. I bet she's really going to enjoy that. <laughs> and she's the female of the two in here, and they are all siblings, two brothers and a sister. And she is just munching away. And I think I already said her name a couple times, but again, this is Artemis. And next we will be going to- <laughs> Whoa! And yeah, you just saw it right there, and she doesn't even care. These cats eat so fast sometimes, they do throw it up. A lot of the leopards do it as well. But no problem. She didn't even hesitate pretty much as you saw. Threw up the piece and then kept eating. So I'm sure she will She will uh, clean her plate. No issues. She just gets really excited for her food. All right, Artemis, I'll leave you to that. But now we're heading over to Orion. And now we are feeding the last of the cougar cubs, like I said a minute ago. This is Orion. And he again, just like his other two siblings, Ares and Artemis, he got some chunks of red, or he has some chunks of red, and then he's got a bunch of mush in there as well. And it's all very bloody. But I'd say he's about the second biggest of all of them. Ares is the biggest, then him, and then their sister, Artemis, would be the smallest. But he is just munching away. These guys really love their food. They get very excited when it comes to food. Marianne is home. And look at that. They just unloaded Marianne back into her normal enclosure, which you just saw us catch her. So she's back home. Hey guys, are you ready for us? And then Max is still in the hospital, but hopefully soon enough he will be joining her back back home in their enclosure. Well, we are feeding Nikki, her royal lioness, the queen as a lot of you like to call her. But we're gonna go to her next. So we'll just leave Orion here to keep eating. And let's keep going. Can you go to 
Is that some good stuff, Nikki? Is that good? And then the next cat we are going to be feeding today is our African Leopard Armani. And you can see I just dropped her in some food there. Again, she's getting red and mush. Today is a red day, so pretty much all the cats are getting red. And then some mush as well. They get that mush every day. Just because it's good for them. It's kind of like us eating our vegetables, even though that is meat, just to clarify. And Armani is one that's really prone to kind of just inhaling her food and then throwing it up a lot. So that's why we cut it up into really small pieces and then kind of just spread it out all over the tray just to kind of pace her when she's eating to make her eat slower just to avoid that choking or any throwing up because she used to do it a lot but since we've kind of started to feed her like this it has made a nice difference but this is Armani and again um, sorry I couldn't get too close to Nikki when I was just feeding her Nikki really doesn't like people around her when she's eating, as you can imagine, lions get very uh, food aggressive and very protective of their food, or they like to guard it. So I didn't want to make her upset, so that's why it was kind of a longer shot. Hopefully you could see it. But as you can tell, Armani does not care. But we're going to be feeding Nat next, our Amur leopard, who's super rare, so definitely stay tuned for that. I believe there's only about 80 or so left in the actual wild. So super rare cat. They're kind of like a fluffy leopard. But we're going to go feed her. So I did just drop some food in for Nat, and again, since it is a red day, she's got nice chunks of red in there, and some mush. And you can see with Nat here, or Natalia is her full name we call her, she's a lot more fluffy for being a leopard, and that is because she's an armor leopard. So definitely can handle those colder climates, colder climates a lot better. But look how fluffy she is. And that tail. Oh, and she's out of here. What was that? But I'm going to leave her to it, and then I'm going to go back and see if anyone didn't finish all their breakfast. Alright, I'll see you in that. Have a good one, hon. So just like that, feeding is now done. All the cats on my route ate, which is always good. We also caught Marianne and moved her back this morning, which you saw. So very eventful morning. Hopefully you guys all did enjoy. And now we're going to start cleaning. So me and Tanya are currently out cleaning. She's over cleaning Funcation, where Zucari actually just got moved out there. And I'm over at Sunny. Look at you, Sunny. I bet you look really good on this new camera. <laughs> I bet you look really high def. She's like, yeah, I do. Let me sniff that thing. We don't do that, Sunny. We don't do that. But Sunny is just your, reg your typical Asian leopard. She's also an old girl. I think she's 21, 22, somewhere around there. Oh, at least in her 20s. But she's doing really good. She's really healthy for her age. That is for sure. You gonna roll? She's like, yeah, I am. All right, Sunny. I'll see you later, okay? Look at that tail. <laughs> Leopard belly. Alright, I'll see you, Sunny. So me and Tanya did just finish up our leopard section, even though this is Manny and he's a jaguar. He's on the leopard section. But Manny's actually our only jaguar. But he is a handsome one, that is for sure. And I'm totally not going to be getting any close-ups with him because he's absolutely insane. But I bet you look really good on this camera, bud. Yeah, you smiling for the camera? Trying to look good? I bet you'll look great. Oh, jeez. You scaring me. He's insane. He's probably the mo the scariest cat we have on property, or the one I tr trust the least. Not to say I trust most of them, but he's definitely one I am on high alert for because he's so strong. If you've seen my videos before and you see those uh, massive turkey drums that I give Cameron, he just crunches through them like nothing, eats them in honestly five seconds. 
You could probably see a video on the main Big Cat Rescue page of him eating a turkey drum. It's insane. But I'm gonna see you later, Manny. Have a good one. I just popped this back on because it looked like he was gonna jump up there, which would be pretty cool to see. I'm hoping he's gonna do it. Are you gonna jump up? Mr. Manny? Just gonna wait here a minute and see if he does it. Or maybe just come on the platform. Come on, Manny, you can do it. He keeps looking up there. Hey, there it is. He's on the prowl. He loves that spot though, because he can just sit there and then just kind of look over the whole sanctuary out here. He can see all the tour paths, see where everyone's coming from. So he always knows what's up. Isn't that right, Manny? But I am gonna leave him to it, let him, let him take his bath, and I'll see you later. So like I just said, how me and Tanya just finished our cleaning with the leopard section, even though Manny the Jaguar's in there. I am now heading out to the Outback section where we have Cam and Boo, and then lots of other tigers as well, and then Tanya's going to do a food prep, so I'm just doing the double check by myself today. So I was kind of hoping that Cameron would be a little bit closer so we could get, get a kind of better view of him. But he is just chilling up there on his platform at the moment, as you can see. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Again, it's, it's pretty windy today. How you doing today, Mr. Cam? You doing all right? And you can see on the right side of that platform, he's even got a bucket up there of water because he really loves that platform. So we thought, might as well put a bucket of water up there. And it's connected to an underground pipe system. So we can just kind of overflow it to clean it. And then about once a week, we'll shift them over and go in there and actually scrub it out just so it stays clean. All right, Mr. Cam, I'll see ya. But uh, I can't get the angle on Boo. She is actually passed out in the den, so I don't think we're gonna see her today. I was hoping we would, because she's a cutie, but maybe in another video. And as I was honestly just saying that and stopped recording, Miss Zabu woke up from her nap. Now she's coming over. Hi, Boo, you chuffing? Just ignore the radio there. Big yawn. Yeah, you just woke up. Chuffing. How's your day going so far? Or I guess your morning. It is still the morning. I think it's only about 11.30 or so right now. She's like, did you get me up for food? For food? You gonna lay down? <laughs> I bet it's pretty cool in there. If she was hot, I'm sure that's a nice spot because this area was actually just cleaned out. She's in her lockout where she's got her water bowl, so they spray this area down with the hose. So I'm sure the ground's a bit wet. I bet it's a bit cool. Feel good, boo? Oh, yeah. I am glad Boo decided to come out, though, since I know she's a crowd favorite. I mean, she's great. Why wouldn't you want to see her? But I bet she looks really good in this camera. Again, let me know down in the comments. This camera's got to be a serious upgrade, right? Let me know what you guys think. Hi, Andre. How you doing? So Andre and Amanda actually just got moved out to the vacation area. So they've got all out there. So it's about two and a half acres all to themselves to share with each other. Did that make any sense? All to themselves to share with each other? I don't know. Either way, they're both out there. <laughs> and they get about two weeks or so, sometimes longer. At least two weeks though. And they'll get a nice vacation out there where they can run around. Most likely just walk around though. There's a big lake back there, which Andre likes to swim in. So I'm sure he'll be swimming in there. And if you do want to see what these two are up to on a daily basis, you can actually just go to explore.org and then t type in Big Cat Rescue, look at one of our cameras, and you can look at the Big Cat Vacation camera, and you can actually watch them out there. Oh man, don't be peeing on me, bud. I don't need that. Oh! He's peeing. Oh my goodness. Bud, we don't need that. We don't need any peeing. I'm not sure where Amanda is though. I'm sure she's somewhere out there. But yeah, they get a huge spot out there with a nice lake and a fountain all the way over there. And yeah, when the cats get to go out there, they really enjoy it. So as I was walking by, oh, what was that Cam? You see something? I did see Cameron off the platform and I thought we could get a better look at him. 
as he's of course looking the other way. What are you looking at, Cammy? Anything good? We got Boo coming over to join the party, it seems. Chuffin. But in case some of you guys don't know, Cameron actually doesn't have a mane. <laughs> Just kidding. Obviously he doesn't have a mane. For being a male lion, he should have one though. But in case you guys are not familiar, he was neutered. He did have a massive mane at one point. But when a lion gets neutered, they obviously lose all their testosterone. And the mane is 100% testosterone driven. So without the testosterone, there's no mane. So Mr. Cammy did end up losing his mane. It took about eight months or so for all his hair to actually fall out. But he's still a handsome boy, that's for sure. All right, Cammy. Oh yeah, you get your tail. I'll see you later, bud. Have a good one, okay? Hi, Miss Priya. How you doing today? <laughs> How do those tiger noises sound on this camera? Does it sound good? As she just walks through like five sets of wire. Miss Priya, look at this. Priya. Miss Pri Pri. She's looking at something. She's looking at the cougar cubs over there. That could be it. Hi, Priya. Are you doing good today? Priya just came off vacation, that's why you saw the Texas out there. Or at least you saw Andre out there. Can't tell if she's happy to be home or not. I think that's a no, I'm not happy to be home. Alright Priya, I'll see you later, honey. As I was back to, about to walk away, Priya got on there. Oh man, look at that. Can't believe I just caught that, that was pretty cool. Good work, Priya. Knock that ball off. Nicely done, honey. You gonna get it? Oh man, we might get to see Priya play with the ball. Go get it, Priya. So right now I am heading out to our rehab area. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna end up recording. It is a clean day, so I'll be in the enclosures today. Um, taking care of Bravo, Tango, and Alpha. But again, not sure how much I'm gonna record just because I know shooting through the cage wire doesn't always work out the best. But, I don't know. I might record a little bit, so let's see what they're doing over there. Or, let's see what the bobcats are doing out there. So I did just finish up out in the rehab area. I'm actually still waiting for them to finish eating, being Bravo and Tango, so then I can put them back together. Man, I look, I look really sweaty. <laughs> well, I definitely am. Uh, it is for sure hot today, especially in that ghillie suit. But yeah, I'm just waiting for them to eat. Hopefully you could see them. Um, they were pretty far away in most of the footage, but I don't know, this camera I think is pretty clear. So let me know what you guys thought of those rehab clips. Uh, again, it was probably only like 10 or 15 seconds total time of all those clips, but still pretty cool. You guys got to see them, especially Alpha, since she's new, and I don't think there's a lot of stuff posted about her, and that, Alpha was the one that was on the platform there. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys like those rehab clips. Hi Cubs, how you all doing? 
Ares is in the middle, Orion on the left, and then Artemis is over there. But I am at Priya right now, and you can see I just dropped in some food, and I was pretty sneaky about it. She does not know I'm over here. I'm hoping she's gonna come running. Hey Priya, come here. I got treats. And I don't know if you can see her, but she's definitely on the prowl. Hi Priya. Is that some good food, Priya? But I had some extra food, didn't want to toss it away. And since it was clean, I thought Priya would want some food since she's been hollering at me for the past hour, honestly. Every time I go by, she's like, ah, oh, give me food. <laughs> so she's got some chunks of pork, chicken breast, a piece of red, and then a lot of chicken necks there. Is that some good stuff, Priya? She's like, yeah, it is. Good work, Priya. Good work. She's like, is there any more there? Is there any more? There's not, I'm sorry. And the cubs are all over here jealous. They're like, give me food. We want treats too. I'm sorry, guys. And girls. All right, Priya. I'll see you later. Let's see if we can maybe hear Aries purring. Are you purring? Can you guys all hear him purring? Let me know down in the comments. But in case you were curious, cougars are the largest cat species that can actually purr. Cougars are classified as lesser cats. So cougars and small are pretty much, um, pretty much any other cat than a lion and tiger. Lion and tiger are your greater cats and your, uh, your leopards and jaguars as well. But everything else, they're your lesser cats, and they have the ability to purr, but your greater cats, they lose the ability to purr, and they can then roar. And look at Artemis over here posing. Oh, and she's gone. How you doing, Orion? Are you doing good? Are you purring too? Alright, see ya. Hi, Ryza. How are you? I was just driving by and I saw her climbing up on her platform. So you must be feeling good. You're looking good. Your coat looks really good, Riza. Looks really nice. Are you grooming? Maybe? You're purring, that's for sure. If you can hear those noises, I think it's... I don't know, honestly. It sounds like dirt bikes or ATVs from over the wall. Kind of to the left of us. That's probably what it is, to be honest. So I hope it's not too loud for you. Can you hear that, Riza? It's very loud. Can you hear it? Wow. Riza, you have lots of fans who watch me. You're one of everyone's favorites. Do you have anything to say to them? No? Camera shy? That's okay. Wow. All right, Ryan. I'll see you later, honey. Look at this camera. It follows me around. Absolutely mental. I think once I get my mount, I can get this to work with the cats so that when I move or when the cats move, I can have it track them. Oh man, I'm excited. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. I asked for 200 likes, I believe, last week or five days ago. And I just checked, we're at 354 likes, which is absolutely insane. That's way over double the likes we normally get in any of our videos. So thank you guys so much for hitting that like button. If you want to hit the like button again, feel free to hit it this video. That would be great. Thank you, John, though, for watching today's video. You're going to be our shout out for today. If you do want to get in those shout outs, just leave a nice comment down below or follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Super easy to do. 
Again, thank you all for making it to the end, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Hi, Zakari. How's vacation, dude? Is it good? You want to show everyone how you like to run? You ready? You ready, bud? I think he's ready. Here we go. Looks like a good vacation, dude. <laughs> I'll see you later.